In this video, we're going to find the derivative of this function. So we know that the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. So here it'd be 1 over this stuff times the derivative of all of this stuff. However, this is a really messy derivative. It's going to be a product rule. It's going to be a chain rule as well. So it's a good idea to rewrite things first. We can use the properties of logs. Recall if you have the natural log of a times b, this is equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. This is one of the key properties of logarithms, right? The multiplication turns into addition, it rhymes. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. So this will be y equals, so it's still y, we're not taking the derivative yet, natural log of x plus the natural log of this stuff here. So square root x squared minus two. So the times became plus. We can still do something to make things a little bit better. So the square root can be written as something to a power. So let's do that. So this is the natural log of x plus the natural log of x squared minus 2 to the 1 half. You may say, why is that useful? Remember, when you have powers here, you can put them in the front. That's another property of logs. So y equals the natural log of x plus, let's put the power in the front. So 1 half ln x squared minus 2. That's called the power rule of logs. So if you have the natural log of a to the p, that's equal to p natural log of a. So if you have an exponent, you can just put it in the front. So we did that. So now we're finally ready to differentiate this. So let's go ahead and do it. So y prime. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x plus. Here, the 1 half hangs out because it's a constant. So we have 1 half times, and then the derivative of this. So remember, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so it's 1 over this times the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function here is x squared minus 2. Whoops, it's really bad handwriting. So the derivative of x squared is just 2x, and the derivative of negative 2 is 0, so, so we don't write it. Um, so that's it. That's it. I guess these cancel. And we can just put the x up top, and that looks good. So y prime is 1 over x uh, plus, and then x over all of this. So x over x squared minus 2. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.